So everyone's talking about how do you get your business onto Google Maps? I've heard about it. I've heard other businesses doing it. But how do I put my business on Google Maps? And is it free to do so? Well, today's video is going to help you because I hear so many people say they just don't know what to do, where to go, how to register it, whether their business has even been registered before. And they don't want to end up finding that they've already registered it beforehand. So how can you check to see if it's been registered beforehand? How can you check to make sure that you register it the easiest way possible to get a great start? And of course, once your business is on Google Maps, people start to find it. And when they find your business and they click through to your business, that gives Google the information that your business is very much one that people want to find. And so it improves in its ranking and you get more traffic. More traffic means more inquiries. More inquiries means that your business continues to grow. And as part of an experiment, I'm also going to stroll down using Street View down a local high street. I'm going to pick on a few shops and we'll just explore to see have they registered or haven't they? And if they haven't, then let's see what we can do, see what we can find. And hopefully the information that we see from real true life businesses on Google Maps is going to help you also grow in confidence to know exactly what you can do with your business. So welcome to my video. Hi, I'm Zane from Zanet Design and I help businesses like yours grow on the internet. So if you haven't registered your business on Google Maps yet, or if you're unfamiliar with what Google My Business is and how it can help your business grow, then this is the channel for you. So make sure you subscribe, make sure you click the alert button, and then you're not going to miss any of these next videos that are coming up. So let's jump straight in and help you register your business on Google Maps to put your business on Google Maps and I've got Google Maps here in front of me. I've also got Street View and what I'm going to do is I'm just going to randomly pick on a few shops and then we'll just analyze to see whether their business is on there and what we can do to improve it if that is the case or how we can register it if they don't have their business on Google Maps. Now just a couple of things to just make clear. First of all, uh, I'm ran randomly picking these businesses that are in a local town. So if it's your business, then uh, hopefully you won't be offended by me just to mentioning it. And secondly also, um, you just need to bear in mind that when we go to these uh, locations, in effect, we're not talking about Google Maps uh, as an isolation, but we're talking about Google Maps through Google My Business. And Google My Business is basically a dashboard that enables you to control the information that's shown about your business on Google Maps. So hopefully that makes some sense. There's some videos above, uh, if you look at the eye, that will help you after this video is finished if you do need extra help in that area. But Google My Business and Google Maps, uh, when, it, when you're talking about business terms, are pretty much interchangeable. So let's have a look. So we've got some shops here. So Bombshell Cheek. So I'm going to go to Google and I'm going to type that shop into Google. Let's just see uh, what comes up. So let's put that in there. OK, so if this is your business, then that's good. We can see that they do have it on Google Maps. So there's there's it there. It's referenced there in Google Maps and they've even got some photos. So they've optimized this and this is exactly right. So if this was your business, then you can, if you don't own it, you can click own this business. Let's see if they've clicked their ownership. And yes, they've already owned it and they've registered it as well. And then you can request access if, if you're the owner and you've say lost your password. So what do we learn from this one? What we learn is, is that uh, this shop here is on Google Maps and also the owner has control of it. So that's one thing you may find. So if you've got your business, you may find that you've already registered it in the past and not realized maybe you've responded to an email. So that's good. So that's one example. So let's look at this example here. So we've got uh, this complete home improvement center in Christchurch. Let's put that into Google too and see what comes up. So if I go back to Google, uh, let's just put that in there. And so what this does here, this is known as a knowledge panel, and that in effect is your Google My Business, all your information about your uh, business. So let's see. So Complete Home Improvement Centre Christchurch. 
and it looks like they don't have so th this is what's come up Christchurch home improvements but if you notice that's a different area of a map that's a different area um, and a different address so these guys don't have it so this is how you can find out whether you've got um, it on maps already or not because if it comes up with a different uh, business or not your business or nothing at all even then you need to register it so we'll show you how to do that in a moment now these guys here then so let's just see they've got a couple of reviews but they're in Burton which is just outside Christchurch but if I was them if that wasn't so here we see that this is what happens if they haven't claimed it so this company haven't claimed their business and they can then manage it by clicking on this button here or they can ask someone like myself to, to manage it for them and I can do it on their behalf. So in this case, I won't be doing that, but uh, that's how that works. So let's just make sure we understand this. So this in effect doesn't have um, a business, but, and it's not on Google Maps, so it needs to be registered. Uh, so what do you do if you need to register it? What you need to do is just go to um, Google My Business. Uh, in fact, to get there, you just type in google.com forward slash business. And then there you'll see this is where you can then sign in. So you just need a Gmail account or to register with it. And then you can add your business. And then all you'll be required to do is add your location on the map. You'll be asked to say what category it is. So if it's a baker's, then it'll be bakery. Uh, if it's um, in the case of uh, was it home improvements, there'll be a home improvement section. In fact, if you go to there, you'll see home improvement store. So that's a category. That's what the category is in this case. Uh, so that would be the one there and then you just fill out a few things like your website your phone number your opening hours and then you can be good to go i'll have a video at the end of this video that will just show you exactly how one's being filled out so if you wanted to follow that then make sure you look at that video in a moment let's just go back to there's probably one or two more things we could do here so just looking around and uh, see if there's anything else that uh, well let's look at this one all mobility so let's take all mobility in Christchurch to see what their situation is. Do they have um, anything? So if I go to Google, I'll type that in. And what comes up here? So they've got a website, which I think I saw on there because it said, was it? I just saw it there, all mobility. So they've got that website, which is good. But it appears that, again, looking here, so it doesn't look like they've got able world mobility that's not the same company so in effect when people are searching for them um, even though they come up number two a lot of people will then notice this on the right hand and this is free traffic and this means that they'll be in effect stealing the traffic unless they're an associated shop and the two are the same business then this mobility um, shop is actually benefiting from the all mobility shop in Christchurch as well. And they could well be competitors because they're both in Christchurch, so who knows. Uh, and let's see, if this was my uh, business, can I uh, take ownership? So suggest an edit, manage this listing. If I click that, see what happens. And this needs to be verified. So these guys haven't actually verified um, this um, business. So that's the other thing as well, is if you do register it, you then need to verify it. So I think it becomes evident that I've just gone down my local high street and it's very evident that just looking at a few of the shops along here, small shops as well, small businesses, it seems to me like many of them, unless they're national companies, the majority of them have either not registered fully or they've not completed the registration and they could be missing out on a lot of traffic. So that's really something to bear in mind. So if you're still not sure how to add your business to Google Maps, then you need to basically start looking at some videos about Google My Business. And I've produced five really straightforward videos that are in the top right hand corner now where there's a button that says I for information. So pick one of those and follow one of those and that will get you just off the ground. If you really want to be helped to see how I actually register one, then I'm gonna have a video that will follow in a moment and you just need to follow that. And that's uh, in, that's called Set Up Google My Business Beginner's Guide. So you just need to follow that and that's gonna help you too. As soon as you've registered your business and then you've then verified it as well, you'll then start to see it appearing on Google Maps. And once it appears on Google Maps, when people are looking for your type of business, they'll come across you, they'll get that information. That helps with your branding, it'll bring in new traffic, and you should then start to see your business flourishing on a local SEO basis. So I hope this has been useful. Now, enjoy the next video and I'll see you over there.